Welcome to the video lesson on quadratic and exponential functions, how to identify and find the rules of each one. Real quick, quadratic and exponential, the first two functions we've seen are both curved. So it says here, graph's curved, graph's curved. The main difference between them is that the quadratic function always passes through 0, 0, the origin. In a table of values, you would either see 0, 0 or be able to work out that there is a 0, 0. And in a graph, you would have the point zero, 0, included. Sometimes only one half of the curve is shown, this one or this one, but in any case, that point has to be part of the graph. Whereas in an exponential function, you will never have the point zero, 0, included. That means that in a table, you would have 0 and something else. If this here had not been included, you wouldn't necessarily know that there is no zero, 0, So not having 0, 0 isn't the same as meaning that you have a point that isn't 0, 0. You want to know for sure that there is an intercept other than 0, 0. And graphically, the curved graph would pass through a point on the axis other than 0, 0. How to find the rule? Well, for quadratic, you could either have a graph or a table. In a graph, you'd have to be given one point other than 0, 0. You always start off by writing the general rule for the formula, y equals ax squared for quadratic, and start by plugging in a point other than 0, 0. Plug in both the x and the y. The order of operation says that we do exponents first. If you can, simplify that, divide both sides. What you're left with is your a value. And to write the rule means that you replace the a with what we just found for a. And that's the answer. In a table of values, you do something similar. Again, we know this is quadratic because it's got the point 0, 0. Start with the general formula. Plug in a point x and y. Doesn't matter which one you plug in. You should get the same answer. Do exponent first, divide both sides, that's the a value, write it into the rule, that's it. For exponential functions, we have a different general rule, but again, given a graph, here's the information you can extract. The general formula for exponential has this, a base to the x. The a in the exponential function is the initial value. So that means the point where the curve passes through the y-axis. In this case, the actual initial value is 4. So we can replace that as the a value in the general rule, 4 base to the x. Next, I'll take the other point that we have and replace those in for x and y, respectively. x and y plug in. Now here, we can't do this exponent because we don't know the base. So what I can do first is divide both sides by 4. And now to undo this, you can either do the square root or, more generally, you always take this number to the exponent of 1 over this number. So 1 half means the same thing as square root. Now some x root buttons on some calculators in class don't work very well, so this is a general thing that you can always do. And when you do that, you find that the base is 2.5. Again, we write the final answer by plugging in and replacing the a and the base values. That's the answer. Table of values, same idea. And again, here we know that this is exponential because the initial value is not 0, 0. And that 3 is the a value. So I can replace that in right away. I'll pick either x, y pair, and plug that in. Again, I can't do the exponent first, so I've got to divide both sides by 3. And here, I can either do the cube root to find the base, or, more generally, do this number to the exponent of 1 over this. And 64 to the exponent 1 over 3 is 4. My final answer is written with the a and the base actually filled in. That is the rule. That's it.